Hey kids, welcome to the Ridge Kids Clubhouse. I'm Carol. And my name is Amanda, and I'm so excited to join you today at the Clubhouse. This month, we've been talking about how much Jesus loves us and wants to be our friend forever. Yeah, we have, and we've had so much fun with you this month. So today, we want to play a little game called Happy or Sad. So we will tell you about something, and then you have to tell us if it would make you happy or sad. So do you think you can help us? Okay, great. I'll start. If your friend comes over with two ice cream cones to share with you, would that make you happy or sad? Oh, me too. It would make me very happy if my friend brought me an ice cream cone. I have another one for you. If your little brother breaks your favorite toy, would that make you happy or sad? You're right. I'd be sad too, and maybe even a little mad. Mm -hmm. Next one. If you get to play at the park all day, would that make you happy or sad? Oh, that would make me so happy too because the park is so much fun. All right, I have one more. If you lost your very special teddy bear, would that make you happy or sad? Yes, that would be sad. Speaking of feeling sad, that reminds me of our story today about a woman who came to see Jesus who was very sad. Oh, I wonder why she was sad. Well, I really want to find out. But before we do that, let's check in with Poppy at the Wonder Clubhouse to see what she's doing today. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. My friends and I have had so much fun playing in the Clubhouse Sandbox. I brought some fun new toys for us to play with today. Do you know what this is? It's called a sifter. See, these holes will let the sand through, but not big things. Let's see if there's anything bigger than sand in this bucket. something bigger than sand in my bucket. There's some seashells, like at the beach. I'm gonna save these to show to my friends later. Do you know what this is? It's called a funnel. You can pour things through it like this. I know, let's see if we can fill the bottle of sand using the funnel. I'll just put it right here. Mess. Zoe's gonna be so mad at me. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hi there, Poppy. Who? Who? Is something the matter with you? Hey, Ollie. I was having so much fun with my sand toys, but then I made a big mess. Zoe loves this sandbox so much. She's gonna be really mad at me. I understand how you feel. It's true. I have the perfect story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey friends. I'm Justin the Mailman with lots of letters for the neighborhood. But this one is actually from me to my friend Aisha. I dropped some of her cupcakes the other day, so I wrote her an I'm sorry card. 
I think she'll forgive me because she's always been my friend no matter what. Which reminds me of our story today. Are you ready for it? I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... Today's true story from the Bible begins with a special dinner for Jesus. As Jesus and the people were eating and talking, a woman who was not invited walked in, carrying a bottle of perfume. Now, this woman had made a lot of bad choices, so the people at the dinner did not think they would see her there. Look, what is she doing? She's sitting at Jesus' feet and she's crying. She's crying because Jesus had forgiven her for making bad choices. She knows Jesus loves her no matter what. The woman was so thankful Jesus loved her. She wanted to do something special for him. So she started to wash his feet. The woman washed Jesus' feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. Then she poured perfume on his feet. The people at the party thought Jesus should stay away from her. You don't know what she's done, they said. But Jesus just smiled. Because Jesus did know. Jesus knew everything the woman had done. And he could see how sorry she was and how much she loved him. So Jesus told her, Woman, you are forgiven. Now go in peace. Friends, there is absolutely nothing you could ever do to make Jesus stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Jesus loves you, and he wants to be your friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. The woman was thankful for Jesus, and he showed he loved her too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. The woman poured perfume on Jesus' feet to show him that she was thankful for him. Jesus loved the woman no matter what, and Jesus loves us no matter what, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! And you know what? Jesus loves me even when I make a mess. I'm going to clean this up and tell my friends that I'm sorry for stealing the sand. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey friends, I'm so excited this month to learn about how Jesus loves us and to learn to love others the same way that He loves us. Our memory verse will help us with that. Yes, that's right. And I'm going to say our memory verse. Everyone, watch me. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. Now, let's do it together. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. Wow, I think they're doing a pretty great job. Our memory verse tells us that Jesus is our friend and he loves us at all times. Now, can you tell me who loves you? Jesus, Jesus loves me. Yes, he does. Let's sing about it. His love will never quit. His love will never run away. Even when I get upset. His love is still forgiven. Never
What a great story about how Jesus forgave the woman for the bad things that she had done. Yes, that was a great story. Jesus forgave the woman and he'll forgive us too if we ask him. Jesus forgives us because he loves us. Yeah, he does. And I am so thankful that he loves us. So can you guys tell me one more time, who loves you? Yes, Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend forever. We've heard about this all month long. We have and we hope that you guys have been completing your God time card because they help you remember the Bible story from the video. Yes, today is the last Sunday in, the, in February, so we will be mailing out March packets next week. If you need a God time packet for the month of March, just have your parents contact the church and we'll send one out to you. We sure will. We love mailing out packets to all our friends who are watching from home. And then make sure you mark your scorecard. I'm marking mine right now for today's God time. Then just pop it in the mail so we can send you your keychain for the month of February. And that's right. It doesn't matter how much God time you spend. We just want to hear from you. Yeah, we do. And don't forget, guys, that now all the way through May, we have a different keychain. And so every month at the end, send us the scorecard and we will mail you the next keychain. I'm planning to do my God time card so I can collect them all. I bet you're going to do it. So guys, be sure to join us right here next week as we begin learning a whole new month of how we can love like Jesus. See you next time.